Hey guys and welcome back. Today we will look at the bleed code problem number 180 consecutive numbers. This one is marked as medium probably because it deals with partition functions and these may be confusing for some. But if you are familiar with them, it's actually a very simple problem to solve. So let's break it down. This is our task. In SQL, ID is the primary key for this table. ID is an auto increment column. Find all numbers that appear at least three times consecutively. Return the result table in any order. The result format is in the following example. And we can see there is only uh, one number that fulfills the criteria. One is the only number that appears consecutively for at least three times. And we can see it uh, for rows one, two, three. Now, every time we see or hear the word consecutively, sequentially, or subsequently, it mostly suggests a need for ordering and analyzing data in a specific sequence or order which very often means window functions. We have a number of them to choose from. We have row number, rank, dense rank, sum, average, and other aggregation functions, lead and lag. How do we know which one to choose from? Let's try to group them based on specific use cases. Row number, rank, and dense rank are used for ordering the data within the partitions of a result set. So they are useful if you need to return end row or end place of some data sets. For example, let's say we have a table with customers and their orders, and we need to return the second highest order for each customer. We would use one of those functions to achieve that. You can see the sample syntax on the screen. Then we have sum over, average over, etc., which are dealing with aggregate calculations across a specified window or partition of rows in a result set. You would use them, for example, if you wanted to calculate customer subtotals or average order amount per customer, some things like that. Finally, we have lead and lag, which allow us to access subsequent or previous rows within a specified window or partition of data. And that's the ones that we want here. Why? Let's look at the data and see what happens if we add columns with previous row value and next row value to it. We'll get the following output. For row 1, previous value is null and the next value from row 2 is 1. For row 2, previous value is 1 and the next value is 1. For row 3, previous value is 1 and the next value is 2. And so on. If we look at the numbers that appeared at least three times sequentially, which is only number 1 in our case, they have the same value in num, prevnum and next num columns. So our condition will be num equals prevnum and num equals next num. We'll use it later in our SQL. So now, after this brief explanation, we are ready to move to uh, writing our SQL statement. Um, first, let's prepare our data with four columns that we discussed. Select ID num, and then our lag function. Lag, inside the lag, we will put num. That's the value that we want from previous row. Over order by ID. By default is ascending, which we want. If you wanted descending, we would put descending word here. Let's alias it as a previous number. And similar syntax for lead. From log staple. Let's run it. Beautiful. We can see we achieved the desired result. Now let's wrap it into common table expression and write our final select distinct statement to extract distinct consecutive numbers. Select distinct num. They want us to call it consecutive nums from table that we just created where, and here we will put our condition. Num equals previous number and num equals next number. Let's run it. Works perfectly. Guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And if it helped you, please like. And if you want to see more of those, subscribe. See you next week.